Hello everyone, Scoops here, another episode of Ether One. Uh, we are still here in the village. What's that? I can't see what it says. Uh, still exploring. It's the little things at first. The things that were already easy to forget. Yeah. This hall Whoa. used to be filled with the sound of children laughing and playing. Innocence is such a fragile thing. I think in a way, we all end up back where we started in our minds, after enough time has passed. <laughs> anyway, something is showing on my side, though it's not quite visible yet. Creepy. Gotta love going to an old school. Ah, detention. I never had detention, actually. I don't know if anybody else did. It didn't seem to be a thing that existed, really. I mean, there'd be times where you gotta get sent to, like, the principal's office. <laughs> where you basically just, like... It was only ever when you didn't do your homework. <laughs> and, uh, they wanted to, like, make sure you did something. Ah, here's a note. Bam, the knocker. The knocker is a good book. My favorite part was when they thought it was the knocker, but it was really their brother. It was scary, but ex exciting. Whoa. <laughs> Hello there. Ah. Huh, I really thought there'd be more in this. What's up here? Anything special? No. I really thought there'd be a ribbon here. Ah, Gina is the best. Good for her. Uh, is there anything else that I missed this way? Another recorder. God, those things were the worst. I don't think so, though. Alright, continuing on. Yeah, I think I've only got maybe two, three ribbons to go. Hold on, I can actually check. Bam! Pinwheel Village. Two more to go, yeah. So I'm almost got it. Almost got them all. Uh, I don't know. Have I been over here yet? I think I have. Yeah, door's open. That's a good sign. So there's a pathway down there, but I'll check out this building first. Bam! Bathroom? No. Hmm. Fishing rod? Seems to be a popular thing in this place. Ah, the lures and such. No, don't see much here. Maybe in this room? <laughs> Slice of toast. Oh, wait, from the looks of it. Or possibly some kind of rye bread, actually, now that I think about it. Or is it even toast? Uh, questions. Too many questions. I can't figure it out. Grandfather clock. Nice. Well, this seems like an altogether pointless house. <laughs> Did not see anything worthwhile there. Alright, let's go around this corner here. Hopefully find something of value. It's been kind of a slow start to an episode. Three or four minutes in. Ah, note. Bam! Pinwheel Post, October 17th, 1955. Pinwheel hit by worst floods in 50 years. Dozens of homes and businesses destroyed as torrential flood hits Pinwheel. Pinwheel Harbor was evacuated today as torrential rains and abnormally high tides engulfed the small coastal village, bursting the stone banks of the harbor. Early this morning, troops and council workers were brought in uh, to begin clearing up the devastation that has wrought, ha wrought, wrought havoc on the once peaceful village. Many of the villagers were left homeless and jobless until emergency work could begin. Most of the village is currently left without gas, water, or electricity, and many of the harbor boats, harbor's boats have been washed out to sea, placing the valuable and local fishing, fishing industry here on hiatus. Ah, that's why they have so many boats, or er, fishing rods. <laughs> ah, bam! <laughs> to completion, Thomas. This is the closest we've ever been to success. I'm beginning to get nervous. What if this doesn't work? Oh, please. Please. For God's sake, be careful. I don't think I can stand you experiencing another relapse again. I've relapsed?
Oh god, this is like... <laughs> yeah, I honestly have no idea where this game's gonna end up. Ah, there's the other ribbon. Bam, let's take a screenshot of that. Boom, thumbnail. So yeah, uh, if I'm Thomas, then I'm going through Jean's memory? Like, that seems odd, right? <laughs> Uh, big day. Plenty of ale sold today up in the square. We set up a market store to get our best-selling J.D. Taylor ale out there to the May Day crowd. It seems to be doing really well, with plenty of people picking it up for a try. I hope Peter does as well as we do. I need to speak to him and try to set up a deal between the Crow's Nest and his brewery. Yeah, I don't think there's much there. So let's head back, head down here. Uh, I'll check this kind of little area first, see if we can get any kind of uh, messages. Before we pick up that last final one. Whee! Oh, hello. Shit. it. Leaving the country and starting a new life together? Not the kind of decision that can be made overnight. This is where most of Pinwheel's trading was done. Arsenic, tin, apples and cider were all common exports. Boat repairs also took place from time to time, but for some reason this never became a large port. I wonder what could have happened here. Who knows? Who knows? Bam! Pinwheel Post, May 7th, 1948. Pinwheels get back to its roots. Pinwheel fishing sellers get old-fashioned with traditional troil, a dance and feast, uh, to celebrate the end of the pilchard season. The family-run event was arranged for all those connected with the Frost and Sons fishing cellar and comprised of multiple fishing partners, shopkeepers, and tradesmen who are all uh, to meet in the fishing cellar's loft at 6 p.m. on Friday to celebrate yet another successful season of fishing. Uh, and then it all went to hell. Got a lot of tanks, diving gear... Let's go back up, or further up. Oh, another one of these things. It won't let me use it, though. Bam. A brighter future. I sometimes see those two children playing outside my window, a boy and a girl. I'm not sure their names, but I work right next to them. They're always so full of laughter. Definitely, definitely puts things into perspective. It makes you realize that there's so much more to life than just this office space. Yeah, true that. True that, sir, true that. Okay, well, let's head back down. Um, put this ribbon in. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what happens after that. It tends to be when we go into the ribbon areas, whatever you'd call them. That's when all the crazy shit starts to go down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you better believe I'm excited about this. Should I check this out? Yeah, you know, I probably should. Don't play down by the docks, Jean. You know you're not allowed down <clears> by the docks. <throat> yes, ma'am. Why didn't she around that near the docks? Just outside, yeah. Ooh, lots of notes. My pinwheel by the sea, and there's no other land for me, no shall I ever be leave. Oh, there's no other land for me in my pinwheel by the sea. And there's no other land for me, no I shall never leave. Oh, there's no other land for me by my pinwheel by the sea. Nah, <laughs> poetry. Uh, long days at sea. The long days out at sea are taking their toll. We need more fish to keep the export open, but there are only so many hours in the day. In the slower parts of the day, I've been writing songs with my guitar and harmonica. I'm going to take it down to the crow's nest tonight and sing it for the lads. Oh, isn't that sweet? Alright, let's go get this. I promise. I promise I'll do it this time. A girl got swept out to sea here once. They had to send the boats out. Oh, God. That's horrible. Well, I guess this is it. The final step. Your step. What lies on the other side is for you now and for you alone. I'll be watching, guiding. You're ready for this, and this is difficult for me to say, but... I'm so proud of who you've become. No, I'm so proud of who you are. Hmm. This woman seems very suspicious. I feel like I'm not being told everything I should be. One thing I'm curious about, too, is the fact that I can... I haven't collected anything in the, um, mines. 
Maybe I get to go back there after? It kind of seems weird, but maybe. Oh, what am I supposed to do again? Yeah. And why is it a music box? I have no idea. Restorer, I need to make this absolutely clear. If you leave and go to the final memory now, there's no coming back. So if there's anything you think you've missed or want to explore further, I suggest you do it now. Oh, I feel like I should try and figure this out right here. Don't you think so? Can I go into these doors? Yeah, I think I can. But... Nah, you know what? Let's just do this. <laughs> no, maybe I should do that. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so I tried to get back into the Brimcliff Mines, and I did. But to be honest, I couldn't really figure it out. It's like a big puzzle area, so I'm afraid to say I'm just going to have to skip it for now. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yes, let's do this, see where it takes me. Oh god, I don't like this. No, nothing there. All right, sure. Whoa. Oh, wow, I'm in there now. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know what these places do, but they just send a shiver up my spine. <laughs> so creepy. Uh, anything at the window maybe I can see? A ribbon. No, nothing there. Alright. This is so dark. It's so hard to see. I hope you guys can see something. I have a feeling there's nothing in here. No. I have a feeling I have to head outside, but just let me walk around first. No, nothing here. What's this? TV? No. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I've already seen that. Alright. Here we go chest. Whoa. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Whoa, okay. What is going on here? I want to keep hitting it, but I kind of don't. You know what I mean? Like, no, I can't see anything here. All right, what happens when I head back to my uh, special area? I can't. All right, all right. Head back, I guess. Something is unusual, that's for sure. Whoa. Alright, I noticed there's a thing here. Maybe I could hit it if I get fast enough. I'm very confused. Alright, I have to walk out. <laughs> Forgot about that part. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. I think... Oh, we're back here. 
I thought that would have been it, but <sighs> just one second. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I didn't have. Yes, that's it. Not what I expected, if I'm honest, but the final hurdle hasn't yet been crossed. To think it was here all along in your case. But the. Actually, nothing to worry about there. Now, place your artifact and let's do what we came here to do. Accept who you are. Oh, man. Wait, this isn't right. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. No need to be Wait. frightened. You need to listen. I know this will be difficult, but this has always been who you are. Oh my god. In the harbor, the floods. Here. Oh. You need to hold on to her. You need to hold on to your memories. That's all that you have left. You need to Is that there before? No, it's changing. I'm just a manifestation. The walls. A reinterpretation of someone who's actually trying to help you. Please. It's time. I knew she was something weird. Oh my god. The lighthouse. She's waiting for you up there. Jean, at the top. At the light, where the answers you seek are waiting for you. Holy shit. Oh my god. Go! Go <laughs> oh man! I'm a coming. Whoa! No, come on. It can't be time yet. Come on, I want to see the end. Are you kidding me? Hello, Thomas. <gasps> I, um, I guess the last question to answer is, how do I fit into all of this? In your memories and in your mind. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm back here. Ah, oh, mercy. All your friends from the neighborhood were here. This was the happiest day of your life. I was at your birthday party, Thomas. Sat there in the garden, you remember? You noticed me and bought me a piece of cake. Always caring. This was a normal family home once. You know that to be true. Take this birthday when you were a young boy. You were happy. A normal, happy family. Together at home. Living a normal, happy life. Or so a photograph would tell you from a glance. He was rotting from the inside. He was drowning from the poison in his belly. It's only then when the inevitable had reared its ugly head that he realized that he loved you. Even if he never really showed it. They did care about you though, Thomas. Remember your fifth birthday party? She spent hours wrapping your presents and baking your cake. You watched her as she prepared everything. You were so excited. You knew she loved you. In fact, you never questioned that at all. I also saw your mother leave that night watching through my curtains as she drove away. I could always see your home and everything that happened inside. 
These memories aren't happy, Thomas. But they are important. They shaped you into who you are today. They made you human. You could only think of one place that you might be safe. And it wasn't with them. Oh man, this is getting s heavy stuff. <laughs> Come on, anything in here? He was always unaware without a care in the world. Lost in his own misery. Unable to care for you. Night after night, week after week, month after month. So where did I go? What happened? Oh, I'm not touching that yet. Unless I have to. I think I do. Oh, mercy. This is... This is intense. You felt that running away was the best thing to do. You didn't know who was taking you away or where. A lost soul in a sea of uncertainty. Frightened and scared. You know... You always were a wonderful artist. Yet, these memories are all yours. Everyone an experience from your life. Some of them we were together and others only you experienced. Lost in your own illness, your mind fought to save as much as it possibly could by creating this confused world of fantasy and reality. These core memories from your childhood, they made you who you are today traumatic as they are but it truly was the only way that you could understand who you are as an individual you're being treated with validation therapy and you're struggling to feel alive sat in that leather chair in that care home day in day out and here we are back again I don't know why, but I decided to follow you. I grabbed my coat and I sneaked out the back door to head to the lighthouse too. I held your hand as we both hid by the old lighthouse. You told me to leave you alone, but I stayed and I held your lamp for you, waiting for them to come to take you away to the orphanage. That was the last time I saw you for a very long time. But it wasn't the last time I held your hand. I always wanted to find you, and I did. I did find you, all those years later. It's time we face this. I can't get through. Oh, the lamp. I'm sorry I'm like speechless because I just I'm so into this <laughs> please Thomas sit down <gasps> oh my god <laughs> this is so intense Why 
is it so important? Lighthouse. Because... Because my wife... She, she kept it for me. For all those years when I was taken away from here. From Pinwheel? Yes, yes. <coughs> but she... Where, where is she? I... I want to see her. Thomas, I... When did you last see Jean? I... I, I, I saw her. I, I'm sure... That, well, uh, you've done very well today, Thomas. I am. Um, I do have another item for you, though. I think this will help you remember. I mean, I hope it will. to wind it up for you. Okay, here it goes. Shall we? Wow, holy shit. <laughs> Maybe that's not the right words to say, but... Oh, wow, that was... I had shivers. I was, like, shaking, almost, the whole time. That was crazy. Whew. White Paper Games, you made an excellent game. Oh, wow. Well, I guess just enjoy the credits. Um, I can't imagine there's too much, but that'll be it for me today. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>